Hello everybody and welcome to Satisfactory Update 8 in the experimental build. It is out and I want to create something amazing. But to be fair, I always want to create something amazing. So it's not much of an excuse to actually do anything. But I am sort of insane, have a decent sized computer, the white one if you're curious, and I love building way too much in this game. So I feel like I'm a pretty good person to be building over here. Now, that being said, if you've seen my previous build that I've been making, Melting Point 2.0, all the smelters in the world in one location. Check the card in the upper right hand corner if you want to check it out. Or you can subscribe, watch it later, whatever you want to do. That's all fine and everything. That one is going to stay in update number 7. One, because it has mods, very easy to use. Two, it runs so much smoother. It's a little bit juddy right now, especially with the big builds. And also, that is a mega build. Once update 8 gets more stable, I'll bring the mega build into update 8. But for now, I want to create something small. A nice small factory made with lumens in mind. Now granted, I could go and take a previous build and make it luminescent, you know, but where's the fun in that? Let's start with something brand new, try our luck at it, see how it goes, and see how to figure out how to get lumens to work overall. Now, if you've seen the Home Life series, that one build that I had over in the Flaccid Archipelago region, that one over there I think would look amazing because it's one of my favorite builds that I made. It's nice and small, but I want to put in more items than just what's over there. Kind of revamp it, make it a little bit bigger, you know, granted for some people that is considered a big base, but you know, something like that and free to download. So with that in mind, let us get underway and start building something amazing. Oh, and you could like the video and all that kind of stuff. That'd be great. <laughs> but let's get on with it. All right, and here we go. We're on the bottom left hand of the map. It's beautiful out here, and I am ready to build. Let me bring up the map, show you where we're at. I have nothing in this build except for my nice little house in the corner. We're going for a straight, solid build. Now, the first thing I'm going to have to do is build a nice train line, just in case we need to bring any trains over here, because I want the factory in this one area. But, in case I need something from the other side of the map, I'm going to use a train for that. And I put in a train line, and I have one curve. This will start us off on exactly where the build is going to begin. Now, I did not build it over on the island like I did before, I feel that I can use the mountaintops over here and tie the whole building in together. But I need to start with an entrance because what is a place other than an entrance? Now I also did not include this in the video, I thought I should mention it though, I did figure out where the lighting is. So the sunrise, if you're curious, is northwest but more west than north, if that makes sense. Whereas the other one is southeast but more south than east. Oh, can I get rid of this? Hold on. Let me use the big boy. <laughs> oh, wrong button. Yeah. Uh, I played sports. All right. All right, let's get to cover. All right. Bring down the mood. Okay. And goodbye. Did it do it? It did not. God damn it. So yeah, one of the other things about building like this is <laughs> I'm gonna have to include uh, random rocks and whatnot that I can't get rid of into my build. So that'll also be interesting to try to figure that out. All right, so this is the entrance way. I want stairs. Now, I had a tips video, I have a link in the description, if you want to go check it out on how to build stairs, how to build really cool stairs. But as you can see right here, it's pretty simple and you can figure it out once you get these two things going. But the idea behind this is I want to figure out exactly how many stairs I'm going to need. Because the one thing about doing stairs this way is they're very long. They look fantastic fantastic like really good but they're very long and tedious to make 
Now, if we use the stairs that are automatically in there, uh, they go up really quickly, but, you know, they don't look very stair-like. They're kind of just like ladders. All right, let's see. How many do I need to build just to... That's a four-meter one. Okay, so that's four meters tall. Uh, wait, what's a two-meter tall one? What's that one going to be like? Oh, I still have to go up? That's, that's not enough? Okay. Build a couple more out real quick. Was it one more? Yeah. Okay. So, just to go up two meters tall, and it's not even perfect. Looks like about eight of them. Yeah, let me play with this around, see what I come up with, because that's not going to fly. Now, on the other hand, this is, because this looks amazing. Took me a while to get the general feel of it. I went similar to what I did in the previous one for my small build, but tried to emphasize signs in it a lot. Really get those lights going. And the day and night cycle really does help. Now, I built this over here in the center because now that we have the ability to basically give ourselves whatever we want, I don't need to use mods, but I can give myself a nice little trophy. And if I get this just right, come on. Right there. Perfect. Oh my god, that looks so good. Uh, so that's going to fit right there. You know what? I think some lighting would probably go good with this as well. So we'll grab a beam, and what I want to do is I want to just rotate the beam a little bit so that the light actually like gets raised up on it. Probably have to do the other side as well. But if I get some nice lighting on here, oh, that's going to look so sick. So let's get you nice three ticks going. All right. And then we're gonna need a sign. Now this one's a little bit too big. I could probably do the one meter one. And yeah, you know what, that, that'll that be good. Now I just gotta edit it so that it actually is a sign. All you gotta do is go to one that has just the wording, delete the wording, very easy, and change the background color to a nice bright color. I recommend white if you want some pure light. Or you can go color if you want something fancy. Then control C to copy, control V to paste, and boom. Looks amazing. All right, now we have the main focal point. It looks amazing with the lighting on here. Maybe, maybe change things up just a little bit. Let's see if we can get rid of the Z fighting by changing these to asphalt. Uh, I don't know why, but I do not like that. I actually liked it better with the Z fighting than I do just having it as the asphalt, just because I like the the glow to it. And a lot of this stuff is going to be, we want the reflections on it, we want the lighting on it. That is what our focus is gonna be. Maybe there's another thing that we can do towards this. Um, imagine if we could have it just like a little bit higher too, that'd be great. I wonder if I have anything small. Like, what if I did a, beam like little beam connectors it kind of looks like it would fit on there hold on let's try this out so we're going to grab the beam and then we're going to switch over to the beam connector we'll put that in the center okay and then we'll go and we have to put the uh, nice little statue back in our hand aim properly because if you get the wrong angle you get the wrong look and it fits right on there perfectly all right wait a minute wait a minute what if i delete it Let's try this right here. Oh, that looks so much better. Let me just change the color to white because of everything on black right now. Yep, that looks so much better. That really ties the whole thing in. Uh, maybe if I could change the lights up a little bit. They're a little too bulky. Let's try the beam connectors. And then... Okay, the two, the two one... No, no, no. Let's go for the single one. And then that way it ties it in with the lights. Oh, you know what? We can put the the one one the, the little box one, whatever, and then we can get rid of those, and then perfect, all complete, all done, looks amazing. The centerpiece has been completed. I love it. Now we just got to figure out how to do some of these other ones because I want more statues right up in the front. So if you're ever wondering how I did it, so with the circle one, all you have to do is basically go in one tick on each one. Hold control really does help. 
And then you can get them into like overlapping each other and you have this like little pagoda looking thing. Is that a pagoda or a flower or a ninja star? Whatever you want to say. Or overlapping pizza with pineapple because everybody loves pineapple on pizza, right? And then we'll put these over here and then we'll grab some other statues. Now if we got the main one up there, we need silver and we need bronze. Let's see the silver one. Put you right over here. Oh no. No, why is that bigger than there? Uh, let's try the nut statue. Does the nut statue actually look good? Yep, the nut statue looks good, but the pioneer does not. So pioneer, you have to go. Now the greatest thing about this is they added in here where you can actually get whatever you want. So we'll just go in advanced settings, type in statue, grab us a nut statue, get out of here, and then we'll put the nut statue back in our inventory so we can grab it. We just have to make sure we place it properly because you can't just place it at any old angle. Check this out. If I place it over here, it is looking way the wrong way. And we want this facing forward, which means you have to be to the left of the item. So yeah, the way I'm facing, you, you, you get it. You guys, are, you guys are smart. So we'll get this one down here and bam, both of those look good. Now there'll be more lighting in the front, so I think the lighting will be fine on these ones. But now we have to find a place for the other two statues. I got it. Let's put them on the edges right here. Now this is going to be a trickier one to get. There's a like, weird black dot on there. Let me see if I can just put it on there. That actually works out pretty good. Nice. And it looks pretty good too. Alright. Moment of truth. Will this one look good over here as well? Yes. Nailed it. I'm the best around. Nothing ever going to bring me down. Now to the next part. Whee! So here's the next part. I changed up the stairs. I added some lighting in them. And I added in this area over here. Now if I want to bring out my Hot Wheels, I can show you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm like a kid. Uh, but yeah, we made it so that you can actually drive up here, park in, and just see the Grand Own entrance. Now I just gotta find something for this weird kind of curvy part. But other than that, it looks really good. I love it. Uh, but now, now it is time. It is time that we start the actual entrance door. Because I don't think there's anything else I could put out here. I did turn off fog though, give myself a better look. But as you can see, I also added in one little extra part just up here with our awesome shop. Made a little triangle, then a circle, then my little like throwing star as well. And after several hours, I was able to come up with an entrance that I am quite proud of. I used a lot of windows so we can get the natural light to come in. I offset them and put them in the center while adding in beams so I can have a beautiful amount of depth. Then I got my RGB light, easy to make. You put a sign in and make sure that each one is off by 30. And then as it goes up, you know, you can see which one is actually in which and just make sure it has the vertical gradient in the center. And that is how you get a beautiful RGB variant. And I had it popping out from here just so it kind of gets its own little like design and everything. But that is the entrance wall. And though it is looking fantastic, it makes me worried on what to do for behind it. Because once we start working in the center part, 
it's gonna get pretty dark because as you can see from underneath it's already starting to look a little you know dark as it is so now I'm gonna have to build out and start figuring out what exactly I want in here now granted I could start doing machinery and figure that part out but where's the fun in that what I want to focus on what I really want to build is an entranceway somewhere where you can actually go in and there's like a receptionist kind of area that I had in the previous one and Actually, hold, please. I, uh, I want to take care of some, uh, pests. <laughs> oh. oh, you want to see something funny? Isn't it great? You can fly, and then they knock you out of your flight. And <laughs> then you knock them out of their homes. Ah, damn you, bright burns. Uh, ooh, another one. All right, let's see. A little pest control right about now. <laughs> uh, that is a lot of fun. Alright, all right, all right. I can't end with just two, but there's nothing else to destroy. Into the wild! Did it land? Who cares? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I was building something. Alright, let me get back to building. That was, that was fun. Oh, these rocks are going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, well, hello, everybody. Sorry to take you out of that wonderful building or destroying, depending on what it was. But it's time to go back in time to the home life build to get us some inspiration. Because this area looks fantastic, and it's based off the build that I want to do. So this is the reception area that I was telling you about. Looks pretty good, right? Very welcoming. Even got a big old desk right over here that I want to build. Uh, but I need to take some pictures, I think, because I want to get like a general feel. See what's got this two meter on the bottom? That's great for some lighting that'll get it on there. There's some side lighting on these things. Ooh, feel like it can incorporate that in a new build. But this is the general idea of what I want to bring towards the other build is that kind of like receptionist area you know want to get that feel that you're coming in to an actual uh what do you want to call it uh like an actual office building kind of thing and hopefully the lighting will be much better in the new one Ooh, i like this wall okay i want to want to do something with this wall let me get a let me take a quick screenshot of that got it and then while i'm here I definitely want to get a screenshot of that, yes. Because we're going to build ourselves a beautiful storage room. Away! And we're back! Yay! The sun is setting, the RGB is glowing, and we need a receptionist area. And boy howdy, I got a good one. We even got a clock. Now, funny story, these lights that are up here... These are just very simple signs, and they work so good. They work better than actual lighting in the building. Like, the lighting that comes with it, garbage. Those, amazing. The only problem now is uh, once I build in these areas, it's going to look weird. So I want to test something out. Let me get rid of this and see how much natural light comes in just from the front. So just on that glass wall up there. Okay, it's pretty 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 dark because I'm wondering if the lights up there are enough you know what what if I yeah what if I just close up this entryway is the entryway giving us a massive amount of lights or are the lights from the signs what's working well and then of course we're gonna have to close up this side over here because we can't allow any light to come in it's got to be perfectly blocked off Oh god, by the way, the rock is in the way. It's gonna suck. So as you can see, it's pitch dark. It's not giving much light in, but here, very illuminated. Now that could be because of the giant clock on the wall and this massive blue light that's under here, but I like to think that it is the nice white lights that I have on top. Actually, you know what? I might be able to test that out right now. So these areas over here are pitch black. Can't see a dang thing underneath them. 
So let's really test this lumen. So what we're going to do is we're grab a beam. This is how I made them. You just grab a beam. You go from one end to the other. But you want to click it six times with the scrolly wheel. This will get it at a 90 degree angle. And you know what's great about a 90 degree angle? It turns these signs at a 90 degree angle. And they look better this way than they do the other way. Now we just have to copy the thing. So let me fly. Copy. Control C. Aim there. And we're going to do Control B. Let's turn off the light. There we go. So paste. And paste. I can see everything. I can see everything. <laughs> this works amazing. So just two giant signs that that high up was enough to see everything. And as you can see from this side, pitch black. That side, I can see everything just fine. Not even with any ambient light. Just those signs works perfectly. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be amazing. But on to the next adventure, where I build a hallway because we're getting a storage. Are you all ready for a nice visual bug? So I'm out here checking out this beautiful RGB color on all the rocks and everything, and my clock turns on. It turns out there's one type of sign that doesn't work unless you're really close to it, which is kind of weird, but also works out because it's the center part of the clock. Amazing. So this area over here, I went with stairs going up, but I also decided to put the awesome sink over here because it'd be great just to throw our stuff and get whatever tickets we need right in one central location when we walk in. Easy enough. Put a floor hole in there. Then we throw a belt in there. Bada bing. Bada boom. I almost said bada bosh. <laughs> and then I just got to add in the storage container into the wall and then hook it up later to where it can actually go. Then I go in there, dump all my garbage, it goes into the awesome sink, as long as with all the other stuff that I have going on. And bam, perfect. Now I got the stairs going over here. Granted, I didn't actually use stairs because they take up a lot of space. So I went with slants and these lighting that goes on here works amazing. I love these signs. Kind of looks like a car park now when you look at it. But hey, what are you going to do, right? And you come up here, you look at the nice RGB rock. I don't, I don't know why, but the lighting on this is going crazy, and I am loving it. Like, check out the beach. It's like a disco beach party over here. It's amazing. But it's time to check out the other side if I could jump, but I didn't jump, so that's beside the point. Well, time for the secret entrance down here that has nothing to do with anything, because it's pitch black and looks insane down here. So let's get out of here and pretend that didn't exist. So on to the actual real storage area. Look at this. This thing looks amazing. Went with the beautiful blue glow. Have an open area right over here. And as you can see, it is a decent sized storage room. I want to be able to put every single thing in here. Look how big this thing is. Huge. Uh, but you want to see the inside of it with the beautiful glow and you got your wish. This looks insane. Hooking this up is going to be a huge pain in the butt. Also trying to figure out how to put signs on any of this stuff. But overall, fantastic. I love it. I got lighting underneath that's not really working properly. I got doors on the side. And these lead to the back room of it, which of course I lit up because if I'm going to be working back here, I'm going to need to see what I'm doing in case I need to edit something. I want to be able to see it through. And as you can see, get it? See? Because it's bright. <laughs> we have all the storage bins. I even put these single ones in here for a very specific reason. So if we go to, what is it? Uh, Nuclea Pasta, I think it is. That is elevator part number nine, which means I need nine bins just for elevator parts. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight right there, and then I just have to figure out where I'm going to put the ninth one. But all my elevator parts will be in the center, and then I might get rid of this one and make like a special armory in here. Ooh, that would be cool. But for now, it is looking fantastic, and I think, I think I've done enough work in this video so far. 
So, as much as I would love to keep building this masterpiece, I am going to go take a nap. Probably pass out or something like that. But you can always watch another video if you like, you know, or leave a comment. I love comments. I answer all of them. But other than that, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for joining. Thank you all for liking, commenting, and thank you to all the new subscribers.